Well, thousands of Palestinians have been living in the U.S. for generations. Some have been immigrating for better opportunities. And as they try and build their lives abroad, Palestine is never far from their minds, as Shihab Ritansi reports. Hi, hi, welcome. Bashar Anassa left Bethlehem seven years ago and now lives in northeast Washington, D.C. But his Christmas gatherings have remained constant. Like, this is a tradition that in Bethlehem we celebrate Christians and Muslims. Nasser was born in Jerusalem but grew up in Bethlehem before moving to the U.S. And I'm trying to bring some of these traditions to the United States, to my family here, and getting people together to celebrate Christmas. Donald Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital has hit hard. He worries now about the prospect of never being able to return to his birthplace. Jerusalem is, is a significant uh, city for Christian, Muslim, and Jews. So as, as a Palestinian Christian, it's, it's important for me to go and pray in Jerusalem. And also as a Palestinian who was also born in Jerusalem, that I want to I wanna be able to go. But another guest here tonight found some comfort. President Trump's announcement has at least refocused international attention on the Israeli occupation. There is, uh, you know, heightened tensions over uh, the holy sites, whether in Jerusalem or Bethlehem, other places. Um, these events and these uh, uh, anniversaries become much more important and more people participate and people put a greater effort uh, uh, to celebrate them and to have the world see us celebrate them too. Farsak points to this year's annual joint service of congregations from the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. and the Evangelical Lutheran Christmas Church in Bethlehem. Farsak detected an extra edge from the sermons. The reverends back home made a very important statement about how uh, in, on this Christmas Day how important it is uh, that we realize that just like at the times of Jesus, we have the Caesars of this day and age uh, that we as Christians, our people of faith, need to resist. This was NASA's Christmas wish. I hope that everyone in Israel and Palestine, Christian, Muslim, Jews, Palestinians and Israelis would one day live in equal, 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 equally. That means having access, right, and access to water, access to electricity, access to build in their homes, to build in their lands, and what, that's what I want. I want equal rights for everyone to be living in equality, and whether, whatever the solution is. A Christmas dinner of Palestinian hope and resistance in the U.S. capital. Shihab Ritansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.